Can you hear me now? Hello? Ever wonder why most gaming headsets are so terrible at, I don't know, being a headset? There's more focus on looks than the actual sound quality. And the mic usually sounds worse than a telephone call at a bus stop during a meteor shower while zombies attack. But don't worry, because today's sponsor, Mastrop, has you covered. The group by website teamed up with Sennheiser, an audio company for over 70 years, to release the Sennheiser PC37X, a limited edition super light open backed headset that seriously sounds incredible. I mean, you just can't get clean sounding audio like this on closed back headsets. If you're interested in the Sennheiser PC37X or the many other products at Mastrop, check out the reviews and the specs in the description below. Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. As you can see, I'm trying this new format without the pre-roll intro and there won't always be a sponsor like you saw today. If you like the format, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so I know that some are getting fed up with GPU news, but I also know many of you still want to hear it. And for those who don't, there's a couple other interesting stories today. With that said, first up, it looks like Nvidia's next generation GPUs are in fact coming very soon. <clears throat> I bet on August 30th. <clears throat> Why do I say that? Well, Hardware Info, a diagnostic and system info tool, just got an update. In it brings support for NVIDIA's GV102 and GV104 GPUs. I know what you're thinking. That V would be for Volta, which is odd because it should be T for Turing. But don't worry. That could easily be to try and hide it, or Turing is the offshoot of Volta we originally thought. Either way, with one ending in 4, it seems very clear that the 1180 and 1170 are coming very soon. Guess what though? It doesn't stop there. The update includes support for the infamous Z390 chipset, which brings me to my next story. On the Kuleler forum, someone decided to leak a few of Intel's next generation CPUs. While it's since been taken down, as usual that could just mean the user got worried about leaking it or something along those lines. With that said, the specs are a little odd, so of course this is currently more of a rumor. First up, the i7-9700K is an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU. Yeah, that's weird, especially since the i5s will reportedly remain 6-core, six 6-thread six CPUs. Basically, unless Intel adds a ton more SKUs, this almost completely means the company's hyper-threading is barely being used, and for pretty much no reason but to separate SKUs. Not only that, but these are reported as being 14 nanometer plus plus. Come on now, I'm sure we're at least on 4 pluses by now. Oh well. Given this is true, the 9700K comes with 12 megabytes of L3 cache, a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz, and a single core boost of 4.9. Moving to the i9-9900K, this chip has been rumored for a little while now, and given Intel is including the i9 moniker in notebooks now, there's little doubt it would make its way to mainstream desktops. This particular CPU has 8 cores and 16 threads, 16 megabytes of L3 cache, a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz, and actually a dual core boost of 5 gigahertz. Now that's nothing to laugh at regardless of single or all core boost, especially since the all core boost is shown as a still respectable 4.7 GHz. Let's just hope this is true because higher core support is almost guaranteed to be around the corner if this happens. Next up, Apple has apologized for the newest MacBook Pro's extreme throttling that caused some i9 version performance to even dip below that of the i7. Don't worry though, because apparently that intense heat on your legs is just a software issue. According to Apple, there is a missing digital key in the firmware that impacts the thermal management system and could drive clock speeds down under heavy thermal loads. No way. You're telling me that when the CPU gets really hot, the computer tells it to cool down? That doesn't sound like a problem. Okay, okay, sarcasm aside, apparently it was throttling far more than it should have. But of course, that slim design isn't all that great now. You know, since these are the professional laptops, so maybe performance should trump aesthetics. Who am I to judge? So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for those GPUs or sick of it and just want a new CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out MassDrop. That's linked in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out MassDrop. And as always, have a great day.